Good evening, my name is Kristen with Expert Credit Sweeps, and tonight I'm going to show you how simple it is to create dispute letters to the bureaus without using templates that actually get results. So I have created three different dispute letters with different reasons, and you could even use them consecutively. Uh, first one is, I'm a real person and just need help. Second one is frustrated with your negligence, and third one is no proof. Now, if you look at this, I did highlight certain sections and I have the notes on the right side. I will have the links to these documents in the description as, um, as well as the link to the website and to make your free consultation with me to find out how I can assist you and take over your file. So, letter number one. There's a justifier in each of these letters, okay? So, you want to just put, you know, obviously you have your information at the top, date, uh, your name, date of birth, social address, bureau address on every single letter in your name at the bottom, as well as I'd like to see a uh, credit report showing these changes. But the actual body of the letter has a description that says why you are sending this dispute letter. So this one is, it comes as a surprise to me that you're reporting these three accounts, because there's only three of them, like this because, that's the justifier there, because I thought my credit was actually much better than what I'm seeing. So. The next part is that you are assuming that they actually have your documents prior to reporting these accounts. So if you could, please open my file and send me the docs that belong to each of these so I can match them to my records. So you know that they don't have the documentation, but you are assuming that they do. So if you look over on the right, the first one is justify, which is because, then you're assuming that they have the docs in your file because they're required to report them, and then we have three disputing accounts. So number one, this unknown collection, and you will see this on a lot of uh, like privacy guard, credit check total, experience related sites. So this unknown collection, account number, blah, 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 shows that it's a collection, but for some reason you're reporting it as an unknown collection. So the point behind this one is where's the creditor name, address, and phone number, and how can you possibly match it to anything or verify it when there's absolutely no information to identify it. So uh, on the right hand, you'll see section 20, 623 states that if the account may be accurate, the creditor is required to report an address conspicuously on your credit report. So how is there, how, is, how does that even make any sense if it says that by law it's supposed to be there and there's not even a company name, address, phone number, or anything? Next one, this is for late payments. Company name account number shows that I was late on March 2015 or any date for that matter, but and there's a justifier. This was actually drafted directly from my bank account while I was on vacation with my family. Please remove the inaccurate late payment. So you have what's going on and a justifier. It always makes sense to put a justifier instead of saying to your boss, I was late sorry you say i was late because i ran out of gas i was late because i had to actually drop my kid off at daycare that because makes a difference and it also makes a difference when you're disputing with the bureaus or a creditor or anything uh, the third one is a charge off that's reporting with no balance but it also doesn't state that it's been transferred or sold to another company so that means that it should actually state that it's been paid Otherwise, it doesn't belong on your credit report. So the third one is, like I said, frustrated with negligence. So the highlighted part is because I clearly noted each and every issue with these accounts last month. So, you know, I'm assuming you either didn't get my letter, you threw it in the garbage, uh, you didn't give a crap, and that's why I'm writing now because how did you... You know, I mean, did I even receive a response? A response? Uh, were these verified? You know, you told me to actually to dispute them by mail, and I did that. And you know, I know that you receive thousands of letters a day, but this is how I was told to do it. So, what's going on? That's the basis of it. So, once again, we have three accounts. First one's a tax lien. Second one is different balances, and third one is different late payments. So first one, how is there a tax lien reporting with a balance when I've sent you the proof that it's been paid? If you look over at the right, uh, it says, excuse me, it says most experience related sites will report tax liens with a zero balance on TransUnion even if it's unpaid. Use that to your advantage. Second one, why does this uh, company name account number you use this for charge offs? You can use it for anything, even if you're trying to, you know, there's a bunch of late payments that account was paid, but you know they're not going to delete the payments. 
uh, the late payments on the account, remove the whole account. So Experian shows this balance, Equifax shows this balance, and TransUnion shows this balance. How can that be? So I look over at the right. Send a copy showing that all three balances are different. Different balances equals not accurate equals does not belong on your credit report. Last one. Please remove the inaccurate payment history for company name, blah, 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 because experience shows that I was late on X date. TransUnion shows that the date was paid as agreed. And conversely, Equifax shows that January 2009 was late, but experience shows it was paid on time. Don't you guys get the same info from the same creditor? So inconsistent payment history is inaccurate account info equals removed from my credit report. It's as simple as that. You're taking factual information from your credit report and making a simple dispute letter. No templates. There's no reason for a template. Last letter. This is when you've disputed and this is for only one account. You don't want to put multiple accounts on here and you're angry now because they didn't send you, you know, the proof of anything. They're saying it's been verified. How has it been verified? So you're continuing to report whatever account it is, whatever company name, when there's obviously no proof that it even belongs to me. So, you know, I'm not saying this is identity theft, but, and here's your justifier, what I am saying is that you're being paid to report all, ac all accounts accurately and completely, and I know for a fact you didn't verify this account. You can even put, and this is that second highlighted section right here, how can you possibly say that the creditor has verified this account when I called them on Monday, spoke to so-and-so, and she said that you guys never contacted them. So having said this, I need to see all documents that were filled out when this account was open, including the application, and or the contract with my signature. So this is actually section 609. So we've spoken about section 609 and template letters and you know all these companies selling them. Make it really simple. Using the section 609 without sending a template letter and condensing the meaning behind it to use it as your defense. That's all that this is. This is for one account. Where is your proof that you did, number one, an investigation, number two, an, an independent investigation, and number three, where's the copies of the application and or my actual signature on a contract? If they do not have that, it cannot report on your credit report. It's as simple as that. So. That's basically it, guys. I just wanted to show you how simple it is to take factual information from your credit report, no matter what it is, tax liens, late payments, different balances for charge-offs, whatever, and turn it into a simple dispute letter that will get you results. So once again, I said that I am putting the links to these documents down in the description and you can make your free consultation with me to find out how I can assist you by taking over your credit sweep, reviving credit sweep. So have a great evening from Expert Credit Sweeps and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.